フルカウンター Alright, lads, welcome back to the Grand Cross video. So, boys, Global,、uh, the news, the patch notes has just dropped for Global tomorrow. It's not that big, but the one thing we are getting is Super Waking 6. And I think they delayed it by a week, which I'm, I'm glad they did, because、um, it's,、um, it's quite a hefty update. It's a lot, man.、Uh, thankfully, they are going to give us 130 free Awakening coins, which、um, I still think should have been around 200, because that's basically only two characters you can Super Waken in. I believe if you don't have someone 66, it takes around 63 coins, which, like, Come on, man.、Um, obviously, if they are already Super Waken 4、um, or 5, sorry, then you are gonna, you can do around 10 to 11 characters. But,、uh, boys, this is important before we jump into things. SA6 is not that important. There are a few characters that's important too because they do get massive, massive buffs. But for the majority of the characters in the game, all they do is get either a little HP buff and then some. Uh, like pace roll, like crit defense, it's not that great. Like I mentioned, I'll show you right now, right? So we go to Elaine, go to the Awakening. As you can see, SA2 is important, you do get attack defense. SA4 and 5 are super important. SA5 being the most important because I believe everyone just gets a little、uh, attack defense and HP. That's so important. Where if you look here, Uh, at least for Elaine. I'll show some other characters too in a second. But you look at her, she got a HP buff like everyone else, but then she got like what?、Uh, crit defense and then pace roll,、uh, pace rate. Obviously, on global, you're not going to see it, but those are kind of dead stats, right? So that's why it's,、um, it's a little bit like, you know, if you see a character not SA6 in a showcase video, that might be because, well, it's not worth doing it for a video because it's, it barely makes a difference, basically. And、um, boys, I'll start with the main one, which、um, if I do a Pug Barn video in the future, I'm not SA6 in them because it's not, there's no need to it. It's, it's, it's a little bit dead. I mean, maybe I want to actually CC, fair enough, right? But look here. SA6 basically gets what? 400 attack on Barn. He does not need that. That literally does nothing towards him apart from giving him a little bit of CC. That's literally it. And in 2k HP, that's the lowest HP I think anyone ever gotten. I mean, you saw a lane. I think she got 4k. And like, Bond's all about HP. Like, this is shocking. And then,、um, I think the actual last、uh, role, I think, is、um, Pierce Rate. I think. Yeah, I think that's Pierce Rate, which, like, Bond doesn't need that. It's terrible. So, that's what I mean when I show his Bond in the future. I may not awaken him because, well, what's the point? It does absolutely nothing. Okay, so before we dive into, you know, who actually got the best awakening, let's go through some of my picks, right? So, obviously, firstly, it's your main team. Regardless of what you're doing in PvP, starting first is super important. So, even though it may not really affect you too much, you are going to lose a lot of CC. So, I definitely recommend, obviously, super awakening your main team, right? Now, obviously, bear in mind, bear in mind, whoever that team may be, Golfer's coming out soon, at least for us global. So,、um, he does kind of change the meta a little bit. If you are running like the Blue Draw, the、um, Margaret and、um, Golfer team, Then, um, might want to switch up a little bit because、uh, you're going to get absolutely destroyed by the new Gofar. So just bear in mind that. Not saying Mog is not usable anymore. I'm saying that team in particular because that's all around buffing and debuffing. It's, um, yeah, it's not that great. But what I'm looking forward to, my biggest thing for like Super Waker 6 is the fact that, well, the bird exists. This, um, Demonic Beast, I don't know how to say his name. Um, this is so hard to do. And, you know, the fact that we're getting SA6 now is super important because, well, That little bit of boost you're gonna get may make you survive. I've had so many times now where I just die. So, my biggest person, I say for a lot of us actually, now I think this might be a priority for everyone, is unironically Princess Elizabeth. Now, whatever team you bring for the birth, whether it be, you know, the goddess team with like Margaret and Saria, whether it be like the Gopher and Brunhild, whether we go for like, you know, 11, the one person that's always on the team is her. Now, arguably, it's either between Diana and、uh, Derriere. So, Go towards them too, but the person that's always on the actual like team, no matter what, is this character. So, at least for me, she dies way too quick. So, I'm gonna focus more on her, get her SA6 straight away, gonna focus, get her level 90 as well. And then,、uh, with that, obviously, comes you know, your main teams are Sariel, Margaret, Gopher, Brunhild, 11. If you're a psycho like me that has a 6-6 with you, are gear, and then, um. What Derriere or Tank Dian, those are the main people that I'm going to focus first because literally clearing out boss raids is so important and、uh, you know, you don't want to be at a disadvantage. So that's what I'm going to be doing first. Okay, so like I mentioned, how majority of the characters are good at the Festival King right now, you can see everyone basically just got a little HP buff, as you can see here. HP, whether it be crit defense, pierce rate, that's kind of what everyone got, right? Now, obviously, it kind of fluctuates, but boys, there are some hidden gems that I'm going to show you right now that are kind of stupid. So let's start off with the first one, the best one that I cannot show you right now because I do not have her, but here's a screenshot Green Dian, 
Firstly, probably the highest actual HP bonus I've ever seen for a character for SA6, right? But also, I think one of the only characters, if not literally the only one, that got HP, defense, and obviously uh, attack for her actual SA6. This is stupid. I did get her, and she's such an amazing character. So, literally, the first person I'm super waking in for a showcase is this Deanne. Literally, that, like, bro, that's unreal stats. Okay, so next, boys, is Lolly Merlin. Now, so I'm so surprised they did this, man, because, well, she's already, like, the best character in the game in a sense, right? She's still so broken. So, the fact they gave her a stupid SA6 is unreal as well. As you can see, they get to give her 10k HP, which is on the higher end. Typically, people get around, you know, 2k, like, barn, 4 to 6k, where she got 10k, but also... It's not much, but it's better than whatever they could have gotten. Is 100 attack. That could have been like, what, 2% or 20% pierce rate. T attack is way more important, so it's um it's quite a kind of a hefty buff. And then uh, for her actual second stat is crit defense, which isn't that great because if they do crit, um, they're probably gonna hit her actual like cap to waking only like 40% damage per turn. So yeah, that um that isn't that great. But you know what? The massive amount of HP in the extra attack is, is like just you can't ask for one of it. You can't ask for a better like actual awakening. It's it's super good. All right, lads. So uh, next is Bronhild, and uh, she does get a massive little buff as well. Um, I think the the same thing, so I may be wrong here. But SA5, at least for this character, and I think the end too, um, basically got the SA6 equivalent, where it's just like, you know, random stats, where for at least for Bronhild, it's so important to get SA6 because, well, bro, like the bird, like now you're doing extra, what, 9, where you have extra 9k HP, and then also like the stats is a 300 attack and like 200 defense. That is a lot. And for the bird, it's super important, especially if you are using her, so... She, if you if you have her, she's literally a must SA6 if you have her. Okay, so next is uh, Zeldris, who gets a kind of a good one as well. Uh, I believe now he gets a nice, nice little attack boost. Yeah, 400 attack and uh, AK HP. This is a really, really good one. And I do believe now... Our every character in the game, Zeldris, the green one, now has the highest attack ever, like, attack stat in the game. It's, like, 7.9 base. It's stupid. So, literally, boys, if you have Zeldris, if you want to use him, definitely get him up there. Just going to give a nice bonus CC because you are boosting two main stats here. I mean, look at this, man. Attack, attack, attack. Like, this guy got blessed so hard for, like, the CC-wise. And, um, you, you can't use it. He's a little bit underwhelming. But if you are Zeldris main, then, uh, you're going to love this buff. Okay, so next is uh, Lost Vein. Obviously, right now, this is SA5 Awakening. But if you go down again, you can see here, he does get more attack and HP as well. Which, um, what, like I mentioned, boys, if, if any character gets a nice little HP buff with attack, that's literally the best Awakening you, you can get, right? And then, uh, boys, finally, I want to end on with this. The ReZero units. They are, one, the worth upgrading because they are obviously, you know, like kind of mess up. But if you go through like all of them, they kind of all got the same thing, right? Where it's um, 8 HP some pierce rate it's not that great uh ram here got the same thing again 8 hp not that great but if we skip over this one i'll do it a second Emilia got a little bit of a disappointing one um 6k it's the it, it's worse than beatrice which is annoying um a crit defense too it's terrible but boys look at that my, the go ram got a massive massive 10k there as well which is really really good too once again the stats aren't that great um I think it's, once again, crit defense of pierce rate. It's not that that great. But 10k, once again, on the higher side, I believe I mentioned Diane got 11 or 12k, which is the highest. So she did get one of the highest HP buffs, which is good, right? Because she is red. She kind of needs it. And boys, to wrap it up, the worst awakenings. Um, there are a few that I could go towards. Like, you know, technically, if you look at Remaru, uh, Remaru got basically nothing. It's like 4k. Like, he needs it the most, and he got the worst one, basically. Like, you know, that's kind of like how all the bad SRs got. Or SSR, sorry. And, uh, well, I already went through Barn. But the shocker one is this here, which is um, Ludo. So, Ludo, once again, all revolved around being like, the highest CC unit, right? And look what he got. 4k HP. Shocking, shocking. That's terrible. Uh, I believe right now, there are 60... Like, if everyone's max CC in a game, there are 60 units that OCC him. He is dead. Like, Ludo is such a dead character now. I don't know why as well. Like, he wasn't that broken. I mean, yeah, Will was used him, but, like, it wasn't even the best team to use in the game, right? Like, you never saw him top 100. Or, sorry, like, top two, three teams. He was kind of like a core cool character you could bring to have fun, right? But, yeah, boys, that is it for today's video. Let me know who you're super making first. You know, was she kind of surprised for anyone here? I guess the biggest surprise for me was definitely Deanne. The fact she got a massive one. Uh, Remus, Remus Will got a big buff, too, which kind surprise me which is kind of nice to see and then uh, i guess um lolly merlin like uh, they buffed them when she we didn't really need to it's, it's weird but boys thank you for watching and uh yeah good luck tomorrow super waking your characters and uh peace <laughs>